The world has changed since the pandemic, but we're still breathing. We are alive. There will be better days as the sun rises. Let's all make memories, one sunrise at a time. Here in Bondari Peak. Hey guys, PD here! Alden here! And welcome to a new episode here on Now in PH! Guys, last time we went to the Wahon Islet for sea adventure, but this time, mapabukid na sad ta! Uy, overnight camping! Babay mo no! Tara, let's go! Alright guys, so we're on our way to the town of Matagok and Pambaybay City. Mga 1 hour and 30 minutes na siya na drive. But guys, if you're coming from Tacloba, it will take you two hours. But if you're coming from Ormoc City, 45 minutes is a good trip. And shout out to our guests. Yes, shout out to our guests. Say hi, Puduns. 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 Actually, guys, it's my first time ng mga to matakot na especially kani Bondari Peak. Ika mo ba to? First time sa dako ng mga to para ko pictures kita ng Bondari. Ika nung first time sa dako. Oh, kita to the first time, guys. Well, see you guys in a bit. See you guys. If you're going on a camping trip, don't forget to pack up all essentials. So we had a quick stop to 7-Eleven or Mall, San Isidro Branch to grab some food, water, and toiletries. Bondari Peak is located in Barangay Masaba. The road leading to the barangay is an uphill drive. The road is mostly concreted, but there are still portions that are not. Hey guys, so we are here now at the jump off point of Bondari Peak, located in Barangay Masaba. Barangay Masaba is just a 15 minute drive away from the town proper, and behind us is a trail leading to the best vantage point. Uy bro, nindot lagi itang fans run lagi. Ay oh, shout out day to Miss Eileen Suarez Aviles of Trail Sign Outdoor Shop. If you're looking for some of the best high quality outdoor gears and equipment, head to Trail Sign Outdoor Shop, located in Real Street, across SM Center or Mo. Guys, currently uh, we're checking out the place. Nag sightseeing me, and guys, promise breathtaking kayo ang views dere sa Bondari Peak. Mingut yung kayo, guys. Nami ko ban karo no nga sa mga vlogging. Isang dere sa pina ka idol na mo. Lodi, Lodi, Lodi. Si Seth PD. Hi guys, uh, my name is PD. Alden. Uh, we're from Now in PH YouTube channel. Tinanod ko yung mga videos nila. Medyo may ilang po akong makipag-uwa. Hindi na ba? Sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. We explored around Bondari Peak with fellow travel vlogger Joseph Pasalo. According to the locals, the original name of the place is Boundary because it is the boundary between the towns of Matagob and Viliaba. Over the years, the name evolved to Bondari. Perhaps it's easier to pronounce it in the local dialect, which is Bisaya. Bondari Peak is a 40-hectare private property owned by a local businessman, Bernie Takoy. Mr. Takoy plans to build a sustainable mountain resort with sites for camping and other outdoor activities. Guys, everyone, Chef TV. First question, among a curious, kimi ka, Joseph. When can I start the imong YouTube career? Good. Eto, wala ko ako balak, wala ako, wala ako ng idea na abut tay sa ganito. Kasi nagstart yung Chef TV through mga drone shot, ayan, mga picture picture. Gusto ko kwa na yung lugar, then i-upload sa Facebook. Wala ko pagi kung may manono, kung may maglala. Like importante, makuha nang kuya yung lugar at ipakita sa tao na nandun na. Hanggang sa may mga uh, nagko-comment na, Sef, subukan mo gumawa ng video sa ganyan kasi hindi, o oh, nakikita namin maganda yung picture, maganda yung lugar. Hindi nila alam kung paano pumunta dyan, kung ano-ano yung meron dyan. Tulad lang mga nag-uumpisang vlogger, hindi naman kasi ako mahilig magsalita. Yan, 
isa akong tahimik na tao. Kung may mga um, tawag dito, may mga gusto akong sabihin tungkol sa lugar, hindi ko masabi kasi nga, yun, nabubulol. Tapos, kung mapapanood niyo po yung ating um, unang mga video, yun. Nahihilang ka pa? Nahihilang, tsaka yung pananalita ko, may punto. Alam talaga, malalaman mo talaga na taga rito ako sa Leyte. So, sa pamamagitan natin, at least na-experience nila yung mga lugar na pinupunta natin. Idol, uh, ano na lang, for mga aspiring travel bloggers slash content creators or mga beginners, baka meron kang tips sa kanila. Mm -hmm. Sa amin, sa amin, syempre. Oh. Mga beginners pa din. Beginners kami. kami. Beginners, <laughs> beginners pa ba tawag sa inyo? Ang gaganda ng beginners mga videos nyo. <laughs> so, dito talaga, huwag kayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Kung halimbawa ko, uh, medyo mabagal yung pagkakyat ng inyong subscribers kasi hindi naman nagbabase dyan yung uh, pagiging vlogger, pagiging youtuber. Nagbabase pa rin yan. Sa mga uh, experience na naranasan na kasi sa mga ikaw nga nila, hindi naman importante kung mapapanood ka ng mga maraming tao, importante ay na-enjoy mo yung lugar na pinuntuntahan. Ano yung never stop? Never stop it. Never stop exploring. Seth can no longer join us for overnight camping, so we grabbed our stuff and headed straight to our campsite, which is the perfect spot for the views of the sunrise and sunset. Hey guys, we just finished setting up our tent. Oga mot kung sakto mo ni pag set up no. Uh, guys, shout out ko sa Repow Up sa tent. Ako guha po kayo na amigo. Ison to Dire. Bro, thank you. And guys, thank you so much for our sponsor for tonight's Amo Dinner, 7-Eleven San Isidro Branch. Our dinner experience was extra special not only because we're on a picturesque mountain, but we also witnessed a stunning sunset at sea. Hey guys, after dinner, we're just chilling here, no? Og literal na chilling. Kay bugnaw din kayo din sa peak. And we're just enjoying the city lights of Ormoc, a neighboring town. I think Kananga ni siya. Too bad, hindi siya matagag justice sa camera, no? So you have to be here in person para ma-experience ni Diria. I agree. And meanwhile, guys, nag-edit siya sa first day na sa most day day sa Matago. Kaya siyempre, as vloggers, no? Editing is life. And since nit-nit naman, guys, so we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye! Our night ended with a spectacular fireworks display as part of the opening festivities of Bundari Peak.
Hey guys, good morning. It's our day two here in Bondari Peak, and we're preparing our breakfast. And while we're preparing our breakfast, we are enjoying the view of the Sea of Kosovo and mountain ranges. Guys, mga unta! And we are about to dig in some among breakfast. We have spam, uh, nata scrambled eggs, niluto ni Luto, ni Piti, talan. We also have cup noodles. Sikado kaya na? So, breads. Ha? Pagod pagod yun. Pero alam mo yung pagod. <laughs> Nasa tayo spreads and after some breakfast, manguli na sa A final reminder. And this is the most important one. Leave no trace. Please be a responsible visitor. Pack everything back to your bag. Pack out all trash, leftover food, and litter. Always leave a place cleaner than you found it. And guys, thank you so much for watching our Bundari Peak episode. Comment below if you have any suggestions for our next trip here on Now in PH. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our weekly episodes of our Now in PH travel series. We'll see you on the other side, guys! Peace!